Round one. Ready? Go! And here we go, starting things off with Kyo and Benny Morrow. Both players just backing up to create a little bit of space at the start. It shows how much respect they have for each other at the round start. Yeah, I got the roll through. Aware of the CD, trying to be a little cognizant of the spacing. Does get sweet and stop things for a little bit. The slicer comes through, but not too much to follow up. I like that we're already going for those car cancels off of the CD throw up the special moves. Get a little bit of extra room. But speaking of CDs, Kyo has one of the best in the business. Already getting that corner carry. But nice, we just go for the wake up DP early on. Let him know. Yeah, one of the best things. I mean, two of the best things in for being Mars straight in a row. The meterless DP and being able to go for that cross up that JV is incredible for those situations. But after the roll through, gets the throw, pressure, turn around. Great throw tech there. A little bit missed space on the jumping CD. Is going to get punished, which pushes us back to the mid screen here. This is a chance for Rockland and Kyo to close things out. Wero's trying to slow down the pace here. Doesn't want to overextend. Oh, okay. Speak once again. Not able to actually get the full connection. But Chip is going to be a factor at this point now. Even guard cancels do the damage. You can't afford to block a single one of these slicers. Oh, yeah, the anti air low. Very, very smart. He's able to low profile. Listen, the hair is tall, but the guy can get low. <laughs> You're damn right. And going to get a little bit of health back here for Benny Morrow as well as we come into Miss B. Of course, Tuskegee. Yeah, you gotta put you gotta put the respect on her name here. But of course, probably the most consistent and strongest character in the current version of the game, right? Bijane putting in a ton of work, so many different options, the incredible air movement as well. And already starting to lock down Rockland Kyo here in the corner. Like that high ho, he's gonna throw as well. Mini fireball into the EX. Continuing to work this pressure here. Benny Mar yeah, I was about to say. Get a little too close to comfort, that DP could come out, but again, it's just nickel and dime, no real combos, but it doesn't matter as long as you continue to find those hits. Yeah, especially at that low of life, right? We were willing to spend the EX on the crash shoot there to get the overhead, just to add up the damage over time. You will build that meter back, especially with Bijane. She's incredibly good at that, but now it is time for Shune coming in with two bars. That yeah, gives away a ton of real estate in the beginning, but that's okay. He's able to retake him pretty aggressively here. Nice block on the first overhead. Yeah, using that blue hand there to stay safe. But I like it running down on Oki as well, just to try and push further towards the corner so we can maintain that positioning. And look at the movement you're going to see here from Rockland Kyo. Too far there. He goes, goes to the dash in. Harrier beats that completely clean, does get the restand also, and that turns into a throw. Again, not a lot of true confirmed, but it doesn't matter with the wake up super. <laughs> just get off me, but the empty jump there is going to get tossed, and now you're stuck between a rock and a hard place once again back to square one. I like that, using that to just buy some real estate. And it works out pretty well here. Gets the run underneath. The movement is clean. Full confirm as well. Tries to go for the reset. Just a little too far away for the 2B to actually connect. But we are walking Jenna down to the corner here. Shatter Strike gets blown up. And so does Shune. Rock Link Yo down to his anchor. I love the idea for the Shatter Strike, though. Obviously, an incredibly strong game mechanic. Being able to completely buzz through a lot of pressure strings, but not quite in that situation. Which brings us down to. It's him. Him. Capital H I M. Iori here. Uh, such a consistent character, good at literally everything. And with two bars here, it is absolutely possible for him to bring this back. See him dash up with a 2C. It's a multi purpose normal in that situation. Great for a poke and great for an anti air. Well, not looking too worried about it. There we go. See you 2C. That 2C is going to come out very, very often. Absolutely. I like the patience we're seeing. Create some space there with the taco. Just trying to get the extra recovery. But the 2D anti air. And challenging to punish the Rekka. Very nice. We're going to spend the level two. We want to try and get the kill. Not enough doesn't have the OTG either. And now we're going to back up. Try and force Rockland Kyo to overextend here. You still have Iori left. Wow. Sweet. Hits the DP. Is able to complete. What, what, get, what a read. We're just banking all that gambling, man. And now it is time here for the Iori mirror match. Of course, on Rockland Kyosan, he is one hit away from death. There and there it is. EX Scum Gale into the fireworks. Is it going to be enough? Absolutely. So there you go. Able to win the mirror match in the end. Take the first game down. What a stellar fight. Showing themselves up. Rockland Kyo, though, I mean, when the Iori came in, had plenty of bar, was in a situation where it was absolutely possible. That's uh, one of the nice things about him on Anchor is how, uh, I mean, <laughs> pun intended with the fireworks here, absolutely explosive comeback potential. Yeah, for sure. But, of course, really down on life there. So it meant having to play perfect. And when you're going up against another Iori, trying not to get clipped is a very difficult process, especially with the way that Iori can kind of convert random straight hits into massive damage with things like the fireworks, right? Things like his Rekka series or the Scum Game. 
a little, a little bit of a slowdown right now, though. Just considering things that the characters select, maybe just going to switch up the order, maybe just wants to slow the momentum. Either way, usually a good call, I'd say. Yeah, you always take a moment in between games, especially if you just lost. Like, take a breather, think about what you did wrong, and it, it, taking the time to kind of cool off your opponent. Because once your opponent gets going, they can definitely get fired up and things can start to steamroll, especially in this game. Yeah, because every game, it feels like a marathon. Obviously, there's so many interactions you have to go through, so many different matchups, so many different characters. It can get a little out of control if you let it. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, we talk about it. KOF is a gauntlet, right? It's an endurance test. I'm nervous, dude. <laughs> it's only the first game. But here we go. We're starting things off again with Kyo versus Benny Maru. No real change in the order. Oh, what an anti air. Mix up with the Rekka. Dude, Rekka and CD is all you need. I mean, that is just dominant. That's the neutral for Kyo, right? His CD, his jump CD, just such an incredibly strong tool. And then he's got a DP on top of the right, so if you get a little too fancy with your pressure, he can catch you, especially with the EX legs, too. Look at EOS, the roll there. Doesn't get a full confirm off of it, but still, it's really, really good to maintain pressure, which is a lot of times all you need. To throw. Okay, we wake up with buttons here, just desperately trying to get out of the corner. We have meter to close things up, but we need to be able to find that hit. Nice backdash there on the low from the Rekka. And you see, we're just trying to throw out these different options here to try and keep Kyo out, because when he gets in, that's what happens, right? Connecting the 3D there into the super. Very nice stuff from Wero, taking the early lead. You're going to have to come into a uh, little bit of a messy situation here, Kyo. Obviously not a character you want to be facing down against this guy. Using that movement. Try and bait out the Rekkas, though. Yeah, going to have to carry some extra weight here. But so far, that is what he is doing. Spend the level one. Same side mix there. I thought that was going to cross up. But again, just answering back with the Rekka. Kyo's neutral game is so strong. Oh, and then the dash up 3D as well. Tag. Oh, and the spacing was actually perfect. Didn't press anything with EXTP. But that little bit of vacuum effect does get some more damage on the table here. But 41 seconds left on the clock. A good chunk of health to come back. Yeah, absolutely. And that is going to be very great for Rock Lankyo going into this next round here. Because you're going to have to get rid of this problem character that is BJN. We saw before, you know, Rock Lankyo was trying to go for those air options, but Bijan is so good at shutting them down with her air legs. And here we go, catching the roll. He's gonna get a nice confirm off of this. How much are we willing to spend? Level two? Definitely the right decision here. One interaction left. Oh, lands and tries to go for the throw, gets thrown on his own, rolls away. Creates a little bit of space, but it's not gonna matter against the Shatter Strike. And that is a hard call out because Rock Link Kyo has been going for those punches, the red hand over and over in pressure to try and poke his way out, right? So just a nice call there from Wero. Unfortunately, he's still going to end up losing Dijon in that interaction. Okay, an opportunity to potentially build on this lead even further. At least, at minimum, make Yori get to spend some of this bar. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, I think if Yori gets a hit, you're gonna have to spend the bar here, right? Unless you're feeling extra confident, which is exactly what Wero is. He wants to hold on to it for that mirror match at the end. And there it is, the 2D staggered is gonna shut down Shune. We're gonna get all our health back, and we got to hold on to that mirror. That's a huge win. Yeah, very, very even situation here. Besides, winner's bracket lives. Jump to C, to clean. Red versus gold here, back up against the wall. Nice patience there to get a punish. Oh, repositioned exactly for that anti air, I think, but wasn't quite ready for it. Still gets the jump in, though. He's gonna go straight to fireworks. EX? This my kill, actually, yeah! Hold up, my channel points. No, too, too far, far away to get the OTG, but he was so close. Still oh. only needs one touch. Rock Link Kyo has to play this perfectly. <gasps> no! no! Tried to go for it, had the right idea. It does not connect, not quite there. Oh, I love it though. I love the foresight. Chucks the fireball, was ready with the level three. Boero is still good to go on a two games in a row. He's gonna be heading on four through the winner's bracket. Absolutely, that's a classic strategy you see for a lot of uh, characters with like projectile supers, yeah. right? Oh, you yeah. look at a character like Joe, it's just classic. You throw out fireball, the moment they jump, you let that level three rip. But Iori has a little bit of